Here comes the shop talk. Here comes the shop talk. Here comes the shop talk. It was up 0-2. By the way, I won a fifth. I'm good. I told y'all they was going to blow it. But let's talk about it. They didn't actually, well, let me say they didn't actually blow it. They got a key player that got hurt because the Bulls were favored to go farther than what they did. Albeit Boston is a good team. Boston is a good team. Don't get me quick. No, everybody has an upset, albeit regardless of what sport. The Bulls were favored to be the upset to get past Boston. They, they, you know what? The Bulls have been inconsistent all year. That's why I don't know why everybody. Boston, 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 look. They were the number one seed. All year, Mm-mm. all year, the Bulls have been up and down. All year. So when they went up 0-2, people started talking about they was going to the finals. Yeah, and they was about to do this and do that. Which was the most now, ridiculous talk now, about. Now, about now, now I, will, I will say Rondo getting hurt, it was, it was bad for him. But let's, come on, Rondo ain't. Motherfucking LeBron James and no shit, man. We, we clear you should be that. able to overcome Rajon Rondo being out. I mean, you got Jimmy Butler, you got Dwayne Wade, even though. Know, Look at the Wade, point guards behind Wade him. Wade got old right in front of our eyes. Who are the point guards <laughs> behind him? So, no, consider, right, considering the fact that you didn't even play this man, you benched him, right? You benched him throughout the year, you damn near could have cut him. But you didn't right. do it. So you kept him on the squad, and now you're telling me you up 2 0. One of the first two games on the road, impressive. But you telling me you up 2-0, this man goes down, and you don't win another game? Yeah. You don't win another game all because he's out? Look at the so you're telling me in four games you made absolutely no adjustments whatsoever? Right. Because your point guard, who really wasn't even your starting point guard. Um, unfortunately, by the adjustments being made, they did not have time and they did not practice enough, and they could not get they, they, no, they could not get it together enough you get hurt to any play time. Anybody without get hurt. a key person being in there. A key person? He the same was guy a key you person. Yeah, the same if, guy if, you bitch. If it, if it was Jimmy Butler, I would roll with that excuse and say, yeah, because hey, that's your main dude. You lost, you lost an all star. Yeah, that's your main dude. Rondo. I mean, he played good defense on Isaiah Thomas. I give, I give him that. But hey, come on now, let's. You got to at least get another game. You got to at least get another game. Look at the root of this. Look at the roster, man. The <laughs> roster sucks. It's just a bunch of people. There's no talent together. on the roster. Right. The so, so why was everybody so excited over the first two wins? You still won two on the road. Talk about talk because Cleveland again, avoided them and all that. Come on, no, man. No, because, again, we had the expectation of, even though, to me, Boston snuck in the playoffs, that nah. we could at least That's get that. That's number seed. one seed? That's the number care. one seed. You all know. Look at Boston's up and down season they had. They're the number one seed. No. No. They only Look how they played. They, 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 they were even number two. It, it yeah, don't they, matter. They, they still snuck in. Team. Snuck in? They snuck in. They as good as team. Isaiah is and Crowder <laughs> and the rest of them. They snuck in. It's just like Crowder was good. That's, that's a good, that's a good, Boston, <laughs> Boston is a good young team. Crowder's good. Crowder's good. Boston, Boston, is, Boston is a good young team. You they, can pull them. They, are, they, they, they up and coming, but let's face it, they not championship. They're not dominant. They're not, they not like that. The Bulls dominant. could have beat them. And they, honestly, they should have beat them. And did what, though? Hey, I disagree. If they, if, 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 well, you go to the next round and get your ass kicked. Thank you. And let me tell y'all this, man. I know y'all think I'm a hate, but this is real talk, man. 
We don't think we know. You should have never made the damn playoffs. Who? The Bulls. The devil told you lies. You should have <laughs> never made the playoffs. You should rebuild like other teams are doing. Because it's time for the Bulls. It's yeah. time, man. And and all you did is make the playoffs. And what happens is you're going to make it look like Gar, Foreman, and Paxton know what they're doing. They don't. All you what did is done? gave them room to say, hey, we're competitive. We made the playoffs. Look at us. Right. We're still trying to do something here. When the reality is, you're not trying to do nothing but sell tickets. But reorganization That's takes time do. every year. So what is the but problem? It, 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 but it, you should have did that. The problem is, at, at, so, at, some, point, at some point, this, they got they got to come to reality that this team is not ready to compete. It's time to move some of these these pieces that you got while they're valuable and just start over. Boston did it. Here's Boston the thing. did it. What, what, what point, like, okay, so they, they lucked into way. They didn't think they were going to be right. right. They didn't luck into like, way. You walk in. Right. Wade is not the way he was. Yes. Just, yes. He got old so, in the last week, right before your <laughs> He's breaking the Britain players down, getting the paint, and see Dwayne Wade smell that a long, all the way through the oh, oh, end. I'm, I'm, like, real. Real. I'm looking at him like, dude. This is, I mean, reality is, you got a trade button. If you can get a top three, I want to trade him unless I get a top three. He's going to go right to Boston, the very right. same you just played. Then, get some young talent, that's it. Or, you build around you. It's they got to make that decision or something. Last summer they didn't do that. First of all, you can't build around Jimmy because he's not a leader like that. I he inherited. Know. He inherited the leadership role because you got rid of Rose. He's not a leader, man. You saying man. Rose was a leader? He was. He's the face of your franchise. He's the face of your franchise. I'm not gonna say he's a leader. I'm not gonna say leader, but I'm gonna say he was the face of your franchise. Okay. That was the problem. So they got rid of Rose. You turned it over to Jimmy. Jimmy wasn't ready to be face of your franchise. Unfortunately, he is. He's the most talented player you got, but you can't build around him. Because to me, he's not a he's I not think a, that, I, I, he's I, not I, a team I think dude. The problem, he I just think happens to a, be the most talented player I, you I, got. I, I think he would be a better Robin. He ain't Batman. He more right. and he's, he's more not suited a, like for a Scottie Pippen type role. That's what I'm saying. He's not a but Batman. But they, they they trying to it's not. Put it around him like he's Jordan and he he's not that. He's not. But we need yeah, we need that. veterans on the team. You gotta have some type of you gotta have some type of player that is aware of what it is to do and how to play during the playoffs. But the, the playoff. question because is, what are you what are you working? The question is, who wants to come to Chicago? But the thing is, that's given, the given how the CBA is now, it's harder for the superstars to, to lead it. It's just too much money. Of course, they, they, they make it harder. It is. They, they Chris Paul can sign for like two hundred million with the Clippers. You right. coming something. Right. So why not hold on to Jimmy? Try to make some trades to get some pieces around him. And then nothing, nobody else works because about Because no one wants to come to Chicago first of all. So what Secondly, valuable fresh meat? What are you building there? around Jimmy? Like, Jimmy right. is not the type of player. Jimmy will gun you out before he'll pass you off. So you don't think if he had a, a, a valuable point guard that Jimmy can work with, with, with the Bulls? That, that, that he, he, didn't kind of turn, he didn't kind of turn to a ball, though, man. Like, I don't know if he can really play with a so. point on that. Let me ask you this. I think if he get another superstar around him, he can deal with that. He can't be your man dude. Kevin, let me ask you this. Do you think he's turning into a ball hog, or do you feel that the talent that's on the floor rely on him to make the points more than it themselves? So I, think like he's a ball hog. I think he's a ball hog, and here's the problem. If you got Dwayne Wade on the floor, you ain't the best player. Like, you have another you have another guy on the floor that's been there, done that. So you should learn off him more so than he got to connect with you. What a lot. And then you got Rondo, who also won the championship. And if they, they would have played all year together, I'll say this: if they would have played all year together, those three, straight out all year, it probably would have been a little better because they could have worked with these other two of two more. Two has more experience than the other, right? Okay. Two has won championships; the other has never been. Right. They could have played together like that, but your coach don't know what he's doing, so he keeps shuffling lines. Well, yeah, but but it's but, time doesn't play. But wait, but wait, minute, what is don't play? Wait, wait, I, know, I know everybody. So so you didn't have the type of coach to bring them together like. That. But everybody, everybody ride Hoiberg, but just like we said, look how that roster was put together. Yeah, right? it, just look, just look how the roster was put together. together. I, I, right. You I, just, it was no plan. Wade was available. Oh hell, let's just take him. Right. You know what I mean? Let's sell tickets, hometown dude, come exactly. back home exactly. and all that. It's exactly. a good, it's a great story. The problem is, like I watched. I watched a lot of Bulls games this year. I, when I was bored, I would sit and watch the fucking game. Really? <laughs> Only when I was bored. Really? So, a lot of times I would just see, it would literally be like, okay, Jimmy, it's your turn. 
Everybody step back, let Jimmy do his thing. Oh, wait. next time down, oh, wait, it's your turn. Yeah, wait, you wait, do wait, your wait. thing, we'll move yeah. out the way. Wait, wait, have this, a hot and night. And this, that, and the other. Now, at the same time, you put Hoiberg in a position of, you got, you do got Rondo and Wade. You know what I mean, and Butler don't respect him either. Right. So you got all, you got these vet players who you can't control. Right. They're going to do what they want to do. And then your young boys ain't even getting on the floor. When, when Porter's finally got on the floor and they traded Gibson, Porter's balled out. But everybody knew Porter should have been on the floor a long time ago. But where are they going to get the minutes from? Where can the young boys get the minutes? You ain't going to sit Wade. Who you going to sit? Porter should have played a long time ago. You got Valentine who can actually play. Yeah, he can. But when you can't put him on the floor. Sucks, you brought in Michael Carter Williams, who I don't know what happened to him. What? I don't, I don't think he played basketball. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, he played for Milwaukee. He was killed. He come here. He was. If you don't put him at the point guard, he's lost. He's a fish out of sea. Right. Boy can't shoot. He's standing on the perimeter, looking around. Yeah. Like it wasn't. It, it, it wasn't. It wasn't a good fit. You just look at what's your system. Like to me, a successful organization, you got a system and you put the players in that fit the system. You don't just put a bunch of motherfuckers together and then say, "Go for it." So, but then again, you got to remember if you watch how they played throughout the season, especially when Rondo and Wade came in, and and Portis is trying to play. They played like, even though they were assigned that position, they weren't playing in that position. Right. Everybody didn't know they keep, they keep well, everything on point. the floor to play. <laughs> Once again, I still go back to the question, was it that Butler was being a ball hog, or was it that the players were not comfortable in the positions they were in and decided to give the ball to someone they knew was going to score. I think them. I think Butler was a ball hog, and I think he took success of being the the main player on the team and the main guy that him. makes the most money. I think he took it to his head. He's he was an all star. He was the face of the Bulls, and I think he took that to his head to the point when I'm gonna shoot the ball every time before. Well, I think that's part of it, but at the same time, again. The roster, did you, did you trust Nico? He was inconsistent. No, Nico, Nico shouldn't even be playing. Yeah, no, so I'm like, saying, so I don't trust. Uh, uh, Jimmy, I said, Jimmy Butler, he's looking at that. Yeah, that's, that's part of it as far as, you know, he got his head pumped up a little bit as far as being physical. But at the same time, who do you trust on this roster? But you got to trust the roster. But you got to trust the roster because these are the same guys that you was on the bench with two, three years ago. Right. So for you to come out in the media and say, man, guys don't want it, and, and I think we need to do that, you was them. Well, so I now who are you to turn around all of a sudden because you the, you the main dude now? But that who are you to turn that, around and well, shit You put the walk in. You put the walk well, in and I think, I think it, it, this is a big difference also. When you talk about true superstar, we talk about the greats. When you talk about the Jordans and the Magics and the Cats like that, mm -hmm. they made everybody around them better. They made them better. Exactly. Now, Butler puts up numbers. He gets his. He doesn't make anybody better. So, 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 so that roster, I don't care what you say. You put LeBron James on the Bulls with the – take Jimmy Butler off, put LeBron James, that team probably in, in, in the NBA Finals. I said it. Because he's I, the type, I because he's the type well, of player he's going to make well, he's gonna make guys around him better. Well, but in order to make them better, I'm telling you, he's going to make them better. He's going to make them better. better team because LeBron would have figured out, okay, I got to shoot over one. Damn. They ain't no shooters. They ain't no shooters. But LeBron would have got the talent out of everybody he plays around. That's what right? I'm saying. Meaning, if I know this cat can take a guy off the dribble, I'm gonna put him in position to do that. I'm gonna take over when I need to. Like, like he's making everyone better. But it's the problem I got. It's the problem I got with Westbrook. He doesn't make everybody better. He just puts up numbers. He gets his triple doubles. Everybody around him can't get in the rhythm of the game because he don't pass the damn ball. But well, then that's the same thing you can <laughs> so, say on two to the back. I mean, the ball. But that's what I'm saying. Look, so that brings me back to Jimmy's a ball. So wait, he's so, not, wait, so he's wait. not making you better. Okay, so with that being said, that's we had a nice like NBA talk that was cool, but we know what just went down. NFL draft just happened. Do we have and to do since, this? Do we have to do this? Since, <laughs> do we have to do this? Do we have to do this we right were, now? We were talking take, about it. And since we were talking yes, about it. I agree with you, Cass. Yeah, yeah, talking about the board. Yeah, we talked about yeah. Chicago. The Bears shocked the hell out of Everybody. With the second pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Mitchell Trubisky, quarterback, North Carolina. They shocked out everybody. They took the quarterback. I ain't gonna lie, I was sick. 
I had to take like three, four shots of crowns in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I was sick. They suck too. That's okay. not talk about to me. All right. So, can I break this down? You want me to break it down? No. Take it care. Mm -hmm. The Bears, the Chicago Bears had the number three pick in the draft. That's what it is. Two they were in position to get a safety, a defensive end, yep. everything we know they need, especially a safety. Okay. We need a safety answer in the mic point. So what happened was, they moved up from number three to number two. Gave away, what, how many picks? Three. Three, three. picks? Three picks. Three. To get a guy that has played 13, 13 games how? in four years. Okay. And out of the 13 games he played, he lost eight of them. Where he was on North Carolina, that ain't even a football. It don't matter. Yeah, come, see, on, man. come on now. Come on, man. Let's Tom Brady didn't, uh, didn't have a good college record either. Shit. So come let on, me, man. Let me, let me you keep can't going. Let me keep going on this. The guy played 13. Deshaun Watson just won a national championship. So did Vince Young. Right. So did Matt Lyon. So Deshaun did Watson had more practices. Garbage ass quarterbacks. More, more than practices more. than this dude that's played actual games. Which one of the so now you, you jump up to take a quarterback, and everybody knew the Bears was going to eventually get a quarterback. Right? Okay. But your number two pick, you got to get a knee. If you just gave Glennon 15, 18 million, he's your quarterback I for next year. I disagree. I so disagree. you don't jump the number two I to get a quarterback. Man, you get I dis your knee I disagree. at number two. I disagree. Pace, Pace goes off the same Bill Walsh philosophy of you fill holes in free agency, you get talent in the draft. You just build talent. Did you get you get more talent look, than talent, a dude that played 13 look, games? Look, it don't matter. Look, look. Or one of the safest in the defensive game. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, hold on. Here, here's the thing. Who's going to be more valuable in three years? If if Trubisky comes in and, and just say he's, let's not say Aaron Rodgers. Let's just say he's That's Matt nice. Stamp, uh, Matt Flacco, one of them. Like he's just up there to the point where he can carry a team. So it's a good move. So yeah. wait a minute, the, the quarterback it's position is way more valuable than the safety position. Uh, if, you, if, you chance, the, the, if you got a chance, the Bears need a safety. If you got a chance to get, if you got a chance to get a, a, what you think is a franchise quarterback, you do what you got to do. But look at look, 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 so you put your coach in a bad situation. One, because you didn't give him the defensive help that you needed in the draft. No one gave him the defensive help. Cap. And you got the you defense got, was top ten last year in the league. Y'all know that. You didn't give him the offensive no. help. They didn't want the top ten defense in the league. But, right but you're telling me that the Bears didn't need a safety defensive end. They picked up a safety in the fourth round. In the fourth need, round, but you had a chance need, to get one of the defense. best safeties that came out of college I, at the, with the number two pick. But this guy just get one of the best safeties. Easier to find safeties down the line. But that doesn't let you know where the league going right now. You, if you looked at that first round, you looked at Buffalo, uh, training, everybody. Tennessee. Houston training, yeah, everybody Kansas City. came up. Yeah. It's what right. the league is right it's now. It's not man. Score, man. It's KC did the same I, thing. KC did the same thing. I'm not mad. I was, initially, I was upset about the, uh, the way the Bears did it. But thinking back on it, we don't know. Right. We don't know what this fit going to be. In three years, we might look back and be like, you know what? Let me let y'all know what This dude know. might come in and he be might like, come in let y'all know what I'm saying, then we're going to be like, that was a good damn job. Y'all are selling. You are mad, and you mad too. Don't act like y'all. Y'all are mad. <laughs> I'm not what y'all did, what y'all <laughs> doing is, you're dealing with reality. So you're looking at the other side. Well, maybe he may be good in three years. I mean, maybe we don't, he but we don't we, know. Here's your know. quarterback roster. You gave a guy $18 million, Mike Glenn. Ain't played NFL football Boy. in two years. Going number wise, you have Sanchez as your backup, Mr. Butt Fumble, his damn self. As your backup, now your you number three, roster. your number three quarterback, you just took number two overall, which means you got to pay him 20 million dollars. Yeah, because he's Sorry. top five Sorry. over four years. Over four years, yes. Dang, you got to pay him 20 million dollars. It ain't nothing in the long run, right? A guy that ain't played, so your starter ain't played in two years. Your backup okay. is Mr. Butt Fumble. Your third quarterback is a guy that played 13 college games in four years. So he started 13. Now let me ask y'all this. No. He played 13 games, which means he was sitting behind somebody. Who was he sitting behind? I don't know who that was sitting behind. I don't even know who he was sitting behind. So that means he ain't shit. I don't even know who he was sitting behind. So that tells you right now, where y'all going with this, though? Look, look. All you and you know you need a you know you need a safety. All, you know you need a all, all you can do is trust. All you can do is trust the general manager's half a tap. That was the dumbest move. You gotta, you gotta trust the But again, the best need help in all fits. 
If you feel like this dude, another quarterback. If you feel like this dude could be Aaron Rodgers down the line, exactly. then you take him. I don't think he has no price to pay. No, the man had a four-year scholarship and listen, played one year. But, but this, this is just how he's gonna be Aaron Rodgers. If this is your guy for the next ten years, if you feel that he Kevin. he's your guy, what's the price to, that to pay for that? And not only that, the price like, to pay is no. is that you're coming off a three-win season. But what are they going to But then Manny got off in the third round. What you going to go, five, six? No, Eli was like, like first pick. Wait, no, one of them was second or third round that picked off in the second or third round. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. And he sucked at college. But what was back there? But what was back there? Try and listen. He played more than 13 games. What was his name college record? He played more than 13 games. He went to Ole Miss. Did he start off four years? Yeah, this motherfucker. Did he start off four years? Yeah. Eli didn't start off four years. He didn't start off with I you. dare y'all to Google it. Oh, <laughs> I dare y'all. Yeah, he did. He was like, Google Siri. Pull your phone. He put up nuts. I don't have he put up nuts. I don't have Siri. He didn't win a championship, but he put up nuts. All right, Kev, I'm going to keep going all day on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the shot. 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 Here comes